Hi, this is KB2MXV, and I'm doing a test with the ICOM 2730A. Um, my issue is with the subband mute. Uh, the subband only mutes if both bands are set to UHF and UHF frequency or VHF and G VHF frequency. If one band is set to UHF, the other band is set to VHF, the subband does not mute when you transmit. You don't want that audio from a second band coming back into you. So I'm going to run through this real quick as fast as I could. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go uh, to the menus. And what I want to do is I want to, uh, I want to reset the whole radio. All reset. Yes. Okay, so the whole radio was reset. So real quick, what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in um, 440 um, on the UHF side, and it's on the VHF side. Uh, okay, here's my main band, here's my sub band. If both frequencies are UHF, what's going to happen is when I key this up, this side will mute. KB2MXV test. So there you've seen the side mute um, like it should. Now I'm going to put I'm going to put two UHF VHF frequencies, and you know what? I'm not even going to put the same frequency. Okay. So now we have sub sub band main band. I'm going to key up on the the main band because they're both V. This band will mute when I transmit. Okay, B2MXV audio test. Okay, so there you've seen both bands mute, uh, the sub band mute. Now what I'm going to do on the main band is I'm going to turn this to UHF, so UHF VHF. When I key up on UHF, this band will not mute. Okay, B2MXV audio test. Okay, and just to make sure, I'm going to do 148 on the main on the sub I'll do 440 okay VHF is my main UHF is my sub I'm gonna key up on the V now and the UHF will still receive audio KB2 MXV test okay so let me do this now for you Some band 148000. Okay, I have here with me another radio, and I have this frequency set for 148 flat, the same as my sub band. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to key this radio up so you receive something on the on the sub band. Okay, sub band coming in KB2MXV. Now, I'm going to key up. Uh, you notice how the, the other band didn't mute. I'm going to get to that in a second. So here we have, I'm going to be transmitting on 440 flat. And while I'm transmitting on this radio, I'm also going to key up my VHF radio. And you're going to see how audio comes in on the VHF side while the UHF side is, is keyed up. KB2MXV audio test on UHF 440 frequency. I'm now going to key up uh, 148 on my other portable. 148 is now keyed up, so now I'm receiving two audios. I'm transmitting on UHF on the sub band, on the main band, and I'm receiving audio while I'm transmitting on the B band. So nothing is muting there. And this is my issue. Uh, I need the sub band to mute whenever I press the PTT, anytime I press it. So notice how here we have the main band here, sub band here. Um, I spoke to ICOM about this on page 16 in the manual. They said there's a feature called subband mute. And I'm going to put the, the manual up on the screen here. And what it says is select subband mute. Selects to mute the subband audio signal while receiving. Okay, it, this talks nothing about transmit. While receiving on the main band or sounds a beep 
when the signal disappears on the subband. So what this is going to do, if I activate that, and I'm going to activate it, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into that menu, that sub mute menu, and that is called sounds, sub menu, it's off. Now I'm going to turn it on to mute. This is what ICOM Tech Support said to do to fix my problem of transmitting on U and V, uh, you know, at once, and that's not the problem. Okay, so here's what this does now. Now that I activated that, what that, that feature does, that subband mute, is this. If you have that activated, what that means is when you receive us audio signal, only receive on the main band, the subband automatically mutes. So basically what it's telling you is that, hey, if you're on your main band and, you start re and, and, and you're receiving a signal, what we're going to do for you is we're going to mute the subband. This way the subband doesn't interfere with you receiving your main band. But again, the manual specifies receiving. And that's exactly what that feature does. It only works with receiving. It has nothing to do with when you transmit. So I'm going to take my portable radio and I'm going to put in 44000. As you can see it here. Okay, and when I key this up, because the main band's going to receive an audio signal, it's automatically going to mute the, the the B band. And here we go. KB2MXG testing. Main band's receiving. It mutes the subband. That's what that feature uh, subband mute does. It has no effect on when I'm transmitting on VHF or UHF that the subband should automatically go mute no matter what it's doing. All right. Hope that uh, clears things up. I think uh, I think a firmware release is uh, warranted for this because, uh, like I said, whenever you transmit on either either side of the radio, that other side should should go mute. Not just UHF U, UHF or VHF VHF, but it should go mute when you're doing UV or VU. This is KB2MXV.